Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about epiglottis. So, what is epiglottis? The epiglottis is a part of the larynx. It is one of the unpaired cartilage of the larynx. This is a leaf-like fold of elastic cartilage. So, this is the epiglottis. This is a hemisection of the head and neck. This is the epiglottis. This is a leaf-like or heart-shaped fold of elastic cartilage of the larynx. It projects obliquely upwards behind the tongue. This is the tongue here, the hyoid bone, and in front of the laryngeal inlet. In fact, it makes the laryngeal inlet, anterior wall of the laryngeal inlet. And the lower part is attached to the thyroid cartilage in the median plane area just below the thyroid notch here. So it is attached to the thyroid cartilage below the thyroid notch by thyroepiglottic ligament here. And it is attached to the hyoid bone by the hyoepiglottic ligament. It is connected on the this side is connected posteriorly to the retinoid cartilage by a epiglottic fold containing corniculate and uh, cuneiform cartilages. Below, by means of a membrane, quadrangular membrane, it is continuous with that of the vestibular fold. Okay, so we got the location and the uh, connection of the epiglottis. It is behind the tongue. It is connected to the tongue by means of a median glossoepiglottic fold and on each side will get the vellicula, the depression between the epiglottis and, and the tongue by the side of the median glossoepiglottic fold will get, will get the vellicula. So, the epiglottis has two types of epithelial lining. Anteriorly, as because it is just behind the tongue, just behind the pharyngeal part of the tongue, we can say root of the tongue, and this part is lined by the stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium. The posterior aspect, this is lined by the pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium or respiratory epithelium. The epiglottis has test bar. Test bar is present in many places like that of the tongue, in the pharynx, in the soft palate. Also, it is found in the epiglottis. And it has mucous glands that make depression. Posteriorly, we'll get the epiglottic, epiglottic tubercle here, like that. And the epiglottis is pierced by the branches of the internal laryngeal nerve. So what are the functions of the epiglottis? Epiglottis helps in deglutition, swallowing. The epiglottis bends posteriorly. It goes posteriorly and it protects the laryngeal inlet in that way diverse food and liquids away from the laryngeal inlet. That is the function of the epiglottis. We have some clinical notes on epiglottis. The movement of the epiglottis is passive, contributed by the forward movement of the tongue and the forward movement of the hyoid bone and the tension in the tongue and also contraction of the aeriepiglottic foot. The epiglottis is not essential for normal respiration and phonation. But if there is any pathology, then the voice of the person will be altered in case of acute epiglottitis. Smooth. Swallowing is possible 
even with a missing epiglottis. It is found in the recent research that even if we take out the epiglottis, a person can swallow and food may not go inside the laryngeal inlet. That is the recent research. The epiglottis is located slightly in the upper level before the age of two. After the age of two, it goes little down and it became in the adult position. Epiglottitis is important inflammatory condition with mucosal swelling and this is life threatening airway obstruction. It commonly occurs in children but adult person may have that problem also. It may be caused by infection, suppose hemophilus influenza infection or it may be due to any type of trauma to the epiglottis that may lead to that. Epiglottis is historically related to the death of President Washington. It is told that he had peritonsillar epsior quincy but eventually a lot of historians suspect or doctors suspect that there is also associated epiglottitis. Okay, and that's all about the anatomy and clinical aspect of the epiglottis. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel and please subscribe me. Have a nice day. Bye now.